Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is your video lecturer, Vomika Soni, and in the current video lecture, I will explain about the absorption and conduction of water involving different processes. In my previous video lecture, I had already explained about structure and function of root. The current video lecture comprises of following topics. Adapted characteristics of roots to absorb water. An experiment that will show you about imbibition process in plants. And explanation about imbibition process. Hope you will understand the concept properly and enjoy this video lecture. So let's begin. See first of all I'll tell you about some adapted characteristics of root to transport water. The epidermis of root hairs is permeable to water. The thin cellulosic cell wall present in the root hairs remember the structure that I have discussed about the root hair in my previous video lecture. If you don't remember that structure, please go through my previous video lecture. You will get a better understanding about this topic. The thin cellulosic wall that is present in the root hair is permeable to water. Thus, the soil solution flows in and out of the cells in this region. Now, roots with the help of numerous root hairs give enormous surface area for absorption. So root hairs play a major role in absorption as they provide enormous surface area. Next is that root hairs contain cell sap which has a higher concentration than surrounding water. See this facilitates osmosis as a result of which outside water is drawn inside root hairs. Okay. The next is to describe about absorption and conduction of water. See, to understand about this process, it is necessary to understand about imbibition, diffusion, osmosis and several other processes. This video lecture basically deals with imbibition and to explain about imbibition, I will first demonstrate an experiment which will give a better understanding about imbibition. Aim of this experiment is to demonstrate imbibition pressure. The requirements for this experiment are a plastic bottle, dry bean seeds and water. And what is the procedure? First we have to pack the can with dry seeds and add a little water to it. Now after you have done this process, then you have to put the lid firmly, tightly you have to pack the can and allow this can to stand for a few hours. After a few hours, what do we observe? We observe that the plastic bottle bursts open, scattering the seeds with tremendous force. What is the reason behind this? The explanation to this is that the seeds imbibe water and swell. The attraction of dry cell wall and protoplasm for water causes an imbibitional pressure to develop within the seeds, which in turn causes the plastic to burst open. So this experiment must have given you a better picture about imbibition. It is the phenomena in which living or dead cells of plant in their dry or semi-dry state absorb water by surface tension known as imbibition. In the experiment you saw that when the can was tightly packed and kept for a few hours, 
then the plastic bottle bursted it opened and the seeds scattered all around this was the imbibition pressure that was on the seeds due to which the plastic bottle bursted and the seeds were scattered all around with a tremendous force the imbibition is the property of many biological substances including cellulose starch and some proteins in an imbibing system water always moves with some force from more saturated region to less saturated region imbibition helps in the uptake of soil water by the root hair imbibition pressure helps in ascent of sap by the root hair what do you mean by that it means upward movement of water and dissolved salts imbibition is the passive absorption of water by substances such as cellulose and starch cellulose is the substance that is found in cell wall the seeds and grains swell up due to imbibition and endosmosis when soaked in water the force thus generated by the absorbed water is strong enough to crack the seed coats so seeds burst open a closed container when fully filled in with great pressure these seed coats or food grains crack when rain water floods go down so this was all about imbibition hope you have understood the process the concept properly keep watching to wikipedia world.com thank you and have a wonderful day ahead